Hey guys, we're here in the Kotel and uh, <laughs> special edition. Uh, this weekend I was merited to be in Jerusalem for the weekend and we're here in Yerushalayim, beautiful, beautiful city of Yerushalayim and by the Holy Wailing Wall, which is the remnant of the temple, of the second temple. And uh, it says that the Shekhinah, that the Divine Presence never leaves the wall. And uh, basically the holiest place for all, um, you know, in the world currently. Every, every place is holy in, their, in its potentiality, but the Divine Presence says never left the Holy Wall. And so a couple of thoughts came to mind being here in Jerusalem and Yerushalayim, this holy city where the temple, third temple is going to be built, like right over there, uh, is um, what's, so, what's so holy about Jerusalem? So it says in the Midrash, certain places, that uh, Jerusalem, or the place of the temple where the, where the uh, Mizbech was, the altar was, is the place where Adam was created. And Adam was created from his place of his atonement. That's what the uh, Midrash says. And very interesting concept that the, the place of atonement, the place of where he was created, that's where he gets his highest perfection. Meaning that we're imperfect as Adam, as a human, but within that imperfection, there's potentiality for rectification to fix in other words we're not perfect as a as individuals and as a collective people but as long as we realize that there's hope that we could connect to what we're doing and better our ways better our lives so then there is a potential for something which is higher and better for us and um, good morning Marsha and also Jerusalem comes from the word Yerushalayim, from the word Shalom, peace. Because peace, Ir Shi Chubra King David, who was the ultimate king of Jerusalem and the eternal king, his son, King Solomon, built the temple. And, uh, <coughs> and Yerushalayim is known for the city of peace. Why is that? Because it interconnects everyone all tribes are interconnected within jerusalem all people all nations over here in, in in the kotel you see people from all over the world there's been four million people visiting israel just last year and um and it's unbelievable because jews and non-jews i mean it's connecting to this eternal place the place of the birth birthplace of adam and the place of where he was he erred he made a mistake but then he fixed it so the only way that we could become better as in mankind is if we realize that we're not perfect and we need to fix, we need to do what we need to do. Welcome from Spain. Shalom. And Dina, nice to see you on. And we realize that at the same time, Shavua Tov, and at the same time, that we're interconnected as a, as a civilization, as a people. And there's one holy place really that brings us together. So Jerusalem is called the heart of the world. And it's the heart of the world, it's the heart of where mankind, Adam, brought down, Adam was born, Adam was fixed, and realizing <clears throat> that this center, center is a center for everyone, for all of us. So. I'm gonna go up to the to the wall, give a little kiss, and uh, have you all in mind. And with that, we could um, sending many blessings uh, for all of you, incredible people watching from uh, from all over the world. Uh, realizing that we're just a, a, a portion of the wall. Many blessings, everyone.